cancelled. Sweezy. Are streamers and influencers actually making a living? I refuse to believe that this many people are able to be making a living wage from posting pictures of themselves on Instagram or playing video games on Twitch. It doesn't make sense. I have met a few influencer types with huge followings, though my work professionally and always surprised by the reality most work other regular jobs they don't mention pub publicly or seem to have family support in order for them to keep up their appearances. My theory is that doing things like that give the person a sense of purpose and they call it work because it takes a lot of their time and they have created an identity around it but most people don't question the reality of these jobs i feel like the next generation of kids is going to assume you can make a living creating tiktoks because the last generation lied about it am i getting old and can't wrap my head around it or is social media largely lying um okay so there's a lot of talking points here uh to do that uh you know i i stream I do a podcast and I do music, so uh, just kind of getting the idea. Um, influencers, let's start with that. Uh, when I think about an influencer, uh, influencer mainly is like you're on Instagram, maybe Facebook or Twitter, something like that, and uh, you know you tell people things you like, you don't like, and what you're doing with your life, yada yada yada. Um, the way they make money, from what I know, is that they get sponsors. So a lot of times you see ad and then they post about like an ad stuff like that's really the one of the few ways those people kind of make money in regards to that is through advertisements because of you know just the general nature of how ads do it um most of the time yeah they either have rich parents or uh they do work another job uh in with that as well so um yeah don't that, that's one thing with influencers all culture and i say and i don't really get I really don't like influencers and shit like that. People call them, I'm, an, I'm a social, I'm an Instagram influencer. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Um, mainly, yeah, they either work another job or uh, daddy's, daddy's money is paid for everything. Uh, in regards to like streaming, uh, streaming and stuff like that, uh, I can talk a little bit about that. Most of the time, I will say, uh, you know, every streamer is different. I mean, and, and the problem is at what point you like, you have to ask someone how, all their finances and everything like that. It, it's, it's just weird because like, it's not always like easy to be like, Hey, tell me, how do you make a living and show me all your finances all at once. And, uh, you know, but like, it's like one thing to ask us someone who streams that or does music. And there's nothing but like, Hey, you know how you're an accountant? Uh, show me how you make a living. You know, it's, it's similar to that. So a lot of people are very direct about it and others, you know, do keep some things to themselves. And, uh, yeah, um, when regards to people who stream on like Twitch playing video games or like talking and shit like that, you do have to realize a lot of times, some people, they do it full time. Like everyone's different in how they do it. A lot of people, they do, they do stream full time. I think, uh, for the most part, I think Pokimane, I know she streams full time, but I think she does YouTube videos too as well. Uh, I don't really, I like Pokimane, but I don't really watch her. I'm not one of her simps. I'm sorry. I can only simp for Brie Larson. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pokimane, if I have offended you, um, I, like as if you listen to this channel. Uh, but yeah, she. Does, I think she does full time. A lot of people do it. Uh, you know, a lot of the streamers they typically do something else as well. I know Brendan Yuri, he he streamed for a while, but you know Brendan Yuri, Panic at the Disco, I'm like that's his other job. A lot of times, and what they tell you if you do want to go into music, that it's not necessarily you have one stream of income. You have multiple different. Uh, streams of income coming in towards you. So it's not, you're not just like playing shows. That's not your only source of income. You do have something else, like say when you're not touring, you teach guitar lessons, or you you may have another thing, you may do stocks or Bitcoin or whatever the fuck that is. Uh, so stuff like that. So I think streaming is a lot like that. So you do have people who te typically do other things. You know, I stream, uh, but I would definitely not consider streaming any good form of income I get. Uh, for the most part, it's this music and other just various music things I do. Um, with um, with that, yeah. So it's typically streaming isn't something that everyone does full time. Like you know, that's why you see some people, do, you know, they only stream like once or twice a week and stuff like that. I couldn't do more than two times a week unless there's uh, like Thanksgiving last year. I streamed like. Uh, like for a week straight because I bought the new Pokemon game and I was like, I want to broad a shining pearl. I was like, I'm going to keep playing this, you know, uh, 
and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so typically that's not their main source of income, but it is somewhat of a source of income. Uh, you know, if you watch any YouTube videos, you do have uh, advertisers where like they have a sponsor in like just a specific concert. Like I have Evanex Fitness, Novilla Mattresses. You know, uh, use use our link in the description. Uh, you know, stuff like that. They would use it during stream. I don't usually use that, do a sponsor during stream. Uh, Twitch, I know YouTube does it too. I think Facebook might as well. They do have, they do have ads. Like if you try to click on a streamer, they'll play an ad before it. And so they do get paid a little bit from that. Um, with Twitch, I know if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can, you can sub following anyone's free. And then, you know, obviously, like I've already mentioned before, uh, subscribing to someone is typically around $5. Obviously, with your Amazon Prime, you get one free a month. So uh, twitch.tv slash the shweezy uh, help us out. And so you get paid that way as well. Uh, so advertisers, sponsors, uh, you know, people who donate regularly, uh and so like that. And then other forms, like I know a lot of people on, uh, you know, the people, a lot of the people I like on Twitch, you know, who play games, they typically do, you know, they typically do YouTube videos as well. So like that. So, you know, it's not just one, one and done. There's multiple different ways uh, they do it. So hopefully that explained a lot of that as much as I've been rambling on. Hey, you just finished one of the many, many highlights from Cancel Sweezy. We got plenty more on the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like what you just watched, go ahead and uh, smash that like button as well. Go subscribe for more so uh, we can teach you how to be a better human in our world. So, uh, yeah, stay awesome.